Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, stream? It's the Solidus 2 from PB Recreations. Just to bring you guys just a really quick t tutorial on how to get your Black Magic Intensity Pro 4K working on your Xbox One and PS4. So, before I get this started, uh, a couple things I need to mention. You guys already should know. Make sure your drivers are updated, both for your Black Magic. Make sure your computers also um, drivers are updated. So, make sure your, your GPU is upgraded. Um, drivers are up to date. Make sure your motherboard drivers are up to date and things like that. Another thing we want to make sure is that you're running everything that deals with what we're doing in admin mode. So, I currently run Windows 10. Black Magic does desktop video setup. Um, make sure you guys have that as running as administrator if you guys don't know where this is you can find it in control panel and this is just for this um, application hardware and sounds and there's your black magic desktop video setup that's almost like your control panel for your black magic it keeps all your settings and things for the actual hardware so as you guys can see we have it set for 1080p at 59.94 there's no video input because the Xbox is off let's turn that on and we'll see that populate great thing about the black magic it can it, it can detect what's plugged into it so it should know um so the other thing we'll be using for there you go popped up and populated the next thing we'll be using is the um black magic media express this is the end all be all of um if your black magic is working this is this is going to be your telltale so that being said we also want to run this one in admin mode so make sure you go to properties compatibility and make sure you're running this in administration mode so we can see a picture here. I just want to go over just the basic settings. If you're going to run your um, PS4, Xbox, and 1080 uh, mode, make sure it's already set on the console before plugging in. You can get lucky and it can register it as 1080p, but normally it will revert itself down to, and by it, I mean the console can revert itself down to NTSC or it will drop itself down to 480p. So um, prior to loading this onto the Blackmagic Intensity Pro capture card, I would say just HDMI it into a monitor that can support 1080p, boost up the resolution scale on the Xbox console or the PlayStation 4 console, and then go ahead with um, plugging into your capture card once you're already assured that you're at 1080p and all settings are saved. All right, so that being said, um, back to Blackmagic Media Express. If you click devices and you can see your device, um, I also have the Intensity Pro, and if I had that plugged in, I would also be able to see that, and then um, I can select uh, things from there. So we can go to Edit, and then Preferences to see what our video format is. Now, um, huge thing that most people don't know is that whatever you have here in your desktop video setup, you should have in your Preferences. That's the only way that it's going to work. It's going to match. Now, for your AVI format going out, this also changes. It's, this is just the um, compression and the way that the computer um, capture video source so here you'll see you'll actually see some of the color ch change so just if you look at that the grays change a little bit lighter um, so this is different settings of different ranges that I can get um, if I'm not mistaken I think DPX 10 bit is the the crispiest yeah that makes your reds pop and your greens are a little bit um, a little bit more depth but at the same time you're gonna be uh, recording at some really high really high rates so we'll keep it down to abi rgb i think i like this one the best it made my greens look a little good yeah so this one is like a little bit less than the 10 bit but um the the one we were just on i'm sorry i forgot the name of, name of it already it's just a little bit less than dpx all right that is media express now a lot of people had a problem with getting all of this into obs that's where we had our biggest issue so in OBS, we go down to our console, we'll preview the stream. Do, do, do. Turn camera on and give you guys a wave if it works. All right, turn that back off later, guys. <laughs> so for our console, which I have in the wrong spot, move that to the bottom. In the console area, what we have here is um, w, uh, Blackmagic WDM Capture. Then we go over to configure. We want to override video mode. Uh, once again, 1080p 59.94 and our pixel format. Now, 8-bit, 10-bit uh, YUV did not work. I did not try 10-bit RGB, but I know 8-bit RGB works. To bring up the... Um, oh, there it goes. Another thing to remember, you can't have two video sources on at the same time. <laughs> so for uh, Media Express to work, you have to have OBS already off. Or to have OBS work, you already have to have Media Express already off. So... There we go. 
We'll turn off our gaming for good. And that should populate it. All right, so. Bam. Configure. I never tried 10-bit. Let's see if 10-bit works. I think it might not. Yeah, see, 10-bit does not work. So, for everybody going through it, 8-bit uh, BGRA is the only one that I know that works. Now, if you get that invalid resolution, you have to go into custom resolution and set it up. 1920 by 1080, remember that. Then we're gonna be pushing at 59.94 frames. And then I think that's all you have to do for that to fill. Then you reset it, and there you go. So here, this is the way you can get your Xbox or Xbox One or PS4 on the Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was very informative. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely drop them down in the comments below. But once again, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I'll catch you guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Make sure you hit that sub button too. That's a, that's a huge thing. And um, yeah, definitely guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.